This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar called Color Tools in Apple Final Cut Pro 10.7. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video, I'll show you how to create and motion track a shape mask to change the color of objects in a frame. I'll also show you how and why to use the broadcast safe effect. Ten years ago, I was in London at the BVE Expo. Brought a camera, forgot to bring a light. I need to put a light on my face, but I'm back in America. I'm not in London anymore. How do I do that? Select the clip. Uh, we'll do this with the color board. So go to the color board, and we're going to add a shape mask. And we'll put my... Find a spot where I'm on camera. What happens is I do an entrance. I bounce around. I look around. I do an incredible... Just It's an incredible closing. If only you could hear it. And I'm making sure you can't by turning the sound down. Add a shape mask. Put the shape mask on my face. Stretch it out. Rotate it. So it aligns with the angle of my head. Add a little bit of feathering. Oh, it's a gorgeous thing, except I want to track it. So hide the scopes. See this word tracker. This opens up a tracking panel. The secret to tracking is you don't want to get too specific. I'm going to have it be enough to include all of my face. And notice that my playhead is in the center of the clip. When I click Analyze, it looks at how my head moves in the frame and tracks it from where I started until the end because I'm in the frame. Now it goes backwards and it follows me out of the frame. So now I've got this light that I walk into. We'll go back to shape and there's the shape. I can now tighten the shape because there's no necessary relationship between where the shape is put and the tracker because the tracker is simply showing how to move the shape, not the actual size of the shape. With exposure, let's just pump this up a bit. Hide this, show scopes. A little bit too hot. Oh, too hot because of the, uh, the lights. I'm just worried about my face. Pull this up. Pull this down. Boost the saturation, because it looks like I died in London. There we go. Back to exposure. Much gooder. Now as I play this, I walk into the light. The light keeps tracking as though somebody's got a handheld light on me. This is before and this is after. Got to admit, that's a whole lot cooler, except my highlights are too high. Let's go and apply the Broadcast Safe Filter. We're going to search for Broadcast. There's the Broadcast Safe Filter. Just drop it on top of the clip. And notice that it instantly, I mean instantly, clamps your white levels. When you look at the Broadcast Safe Filter, look at the white levels. They're at 110, 112%. Now they're clamped. What it's doing is it's crushing the level of those whites down to 100%. I'm losing the detail, but that light is all coming from the ceiling lights. I don't care about the detail at all. There are three settings. You can set it for 601 NTSC. Remember, that's standard def, 709 for all high def, and 2020 for HDR. So leave it to 709. It clamps the white levels at 100%. You do not want to adjust the amount. Just leave it at zero. The default settings are perfect, and it's all clamped. It's ready for broadcast. It's ready for cable. It's ready for digital cinema. And depending upon your point of view, uh, it's ready for the web. This was an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar called Color Tools in Apple Final Cut Pro 10.7. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 362. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. 
Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.